Hey guys! Last month I made a video about all of my favorite book covers. I wouldn't go so far as to say that I hate these book covers. It's more like they just really annoy me. These first few books that I'm going to show you guys have the same annoying issue. First is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Both the original covers and the bind-up version of these covers aren't that good. The original covers, which I would put up on the screen if I could, is basically the same for each book. It's the same girl and guy in different poses on a dark cover. Where the bind-up version of the books, you have half a face on each book cover. I think the only thing I really like about this cover is the fact that it's really shimmery and shiny. Between the two, I would actually prefer the original covers because even though it's kind of a generic look, these covers are slightly more annoying to me because I really don't care for covers that they have faces either taking up half the book or the entire book. Next is the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. Same problem I had with the Lux series except 10 times more annoying because her face literally takes up the majority of the book. And yes, she's really pretty, but I don't need her face up in my face when I'm looking at the book. Then we have the Vampire Academy series and the Bloodline series. And I love both of these series, but I really, really do not like their covers. Vampire Academy is basically just a close-up picture of the female protagonist. Whereas the Bloodline series, it tries to put at least two people on the cover to make it slightly less weird looking. They didn't succeed. And truthfully, one of the reasons it took me so long to read this series is because of the covers. There's just something about these covers that really just turn you off for the series. Which is sad because these are two terrific series. Then we have Paper Town by John Green and I think this is the original cover. I'm not 100% sure. But really, another book with a close-up of a face. It seems like at one point all the publishers just got together and said, Hey, this is a wonderful idea for a cover design. Let's just do a close-up picture of a girl that looks like the female protagonist of the book and leave it at that. I truthfully had no intentions of picking up Paper Towns, especially this cover, but I got this book for like 25 cents, so I wasn't gonna pass that up. Next is Waterfall by Lauren Kate, and this cover is just ridiculous. Who would make a cover where it's this close up on somebody's face? Especially since this is a cover change. This is what the first book looks like in the original cover. And this cover is beautiful. I mean, it's not one of my favorite covers, um, but I love the color scheme. And even though it like has a picture of a girl in the front, which really is an overused idea for a book cover, it doesn't seem as overpowering as some books. Maybe that's because the book itself is so large, especially in comparison to the second book. That's another annoying quality. And even though it really tears me up that the covers do not match, I am not rebuying Teardrop in this cover. Next up we go from too many faces to no face at all. This is just more of an annoying cover where it just looks odd to see a text bubble come out of a body that has no head whatsoever. Would it really kill them to have put a fake head on this fake body? And the last book I want to talk about is the original cover of Proxy by Alex London. This book mainly irritates me because of the reflectiveness of it. It's just really annoying and makes recording with it and taking pictures with it even more troublesome. And when compared to the new covers, it just kind of falls flat for me. I was able to get Guardian at a very cheap price and I really wanted Proxy's cover to match this one because I do really like the cover. 
but I also wanted it to be the same format, especially if I'm going to like the book as much as I anticipate. But the only way to get proxy and hardcover is to get this ugly cover. So is either get a paperback copy of Proxy with the beautiful red new cover that it had or settle for the old cover but also have it in hardback. In the end, I decided that durability meant more to me than matching covers. So yeah, those are all of my least favorite book covers. There are a few other book covers that I just really don't like, but I don't physically own those books, so I feel like if I don't physically own them, I shouldn't complain about them or consider them my least favorite book covers because like I didn't spend money on the books. So there's no reason for me to say anything about the covers. And saying that you guys should let me know in the comments below what your least favorite book covers are. Also, let me know what you guys thought of all of my least favorite covers. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!